Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir, and I'm happy to have me. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Mark Wahlberg's over 30,000 square foot, 23 bedroom, 20 bathroom, 6 acre Beverly Park home, which is currently listed at $87.5 million. If it sells at this price, it'll be the most expensive home ever in the neighborhood. I'd be willing to guess he gets at least 75 mil, if not more. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the neighborhood. Beverly Park is our favorite neighborhood in all of LA. If we had unlimited money, our main home would be here, and then we'd have one in Malibu on the beach. So many celebs live here too. Like Adele just bought Sylvester Stallone's mansion for 58 million, which we reviewed many months back. Be sure to check that out. The Rock recently bought a home there for 28 million. Justin Bieber bought a home there in 2020. And many, many other celebs. Outside the property, we love this tree. Damn, that's a nice tree. We love the curb appeal. It's hard to pinpoint what the style is exactly, but I'm going with French Chateau. Drake's $100 million home was made in this style. For Southern California, we're usually fans of Mediterranean, but if you're going a home this gigantic, you've got to go with French Chateau. It's so expensive and luxurious, I can't even say it right. French Chateau, French Chateau, French Chateau. We love that there are no gutters. A sign of a good architect is to know when to hide the gutters. Even though polygamy is illegal inside, we love the double bridal staircase. We love this shit table. It's really easy for us to lose our keys, wallet, and AirPods in our regular homes, so I can't imagine how difficult it is to find them in a 30,000 square foot home. So having a table in the entrance like this is super clutch and a must have. You could bet a lot of money that a home like this has a lot of LEHs, so here's one that we love. We love the two-story library. Libraries have books. Books are full of stories. Therefore, it makes sense that libraries should have multiple stories. We love this archway to the dining room. At the end of every arch is a good meal. In the dining room, we love the circle mirror. There has never been a better time in history to be a circle mirror. We love the kitchen layout. This setup is ideal. You want to have a double island and the range back here. We love the detailing in the ceiling. We love the location of the microwave. We love the cozy eat-in area in the kitchen. We love how huge the space is in the main bedroom. You can always tell a room is large when you can fit one of these tables behind the couch. We love this little barrel vault in here. We love these matching Mark and Rhea pillows. The fact that Mark and Rhea have matching pillows is one of the cutest things we've ever seen on the show. Could we talk about these flowers for a second? I'm not even going to try to pronounce the brand that makes these, but you've probably seen them around. Lots of influencers have them. This particular set will set you back 2000 bucks. It has like 250 roses and it'll last you more than a year, which is fine, I guess. This particular style is called the Round Grandiose. Round Grandiose is also a very good name for a fancy BBL. Let's proceed. We love the size of the walk-in closet. A home this large wouldn't make sense without a lot of amenities inside and out, and this place has them. We love the theater, which has this really cool stained glass ceiling. We love the gigantic walk-in sauce cellar. Thinking about all the vintage ranch I could store in here makes me very happy. We love this bar area. We love this other LAH that leads to this gym that we love. And we love the backyard. This is a certified maximum chill oasis. It's a vibe vibe. This backyard comes fully loaded. But first, let's take a moment to appreciate this symmetry. Mm. We love the LAB back here. Long ass balcony. We love this grassy place to frolic. Those mowing lines. Mm. One of my dreams is to someday be able to mow a lawn this large. Mark, if you need some help, let me know. I'll be on the next flight over. There's a huge pool. Here it is up close. We even love these bushes by the waterfall. If you know what you're doing, you could turn any bush into a waterfall. There's a huge hot tub. There's more than enough space for you and your entourage to hang out here. We love the basketball tennis court. It even comes with bleachers. How do you even buy bleachers? No one knows. We love this pavilion, especially the way it looks when it's lit up at night. Mm. There's also a skate park and a golf course. Which we don't really love, but we'll get to that later. Bird Street. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate that this gate is too small. The fact that I could see the home from this angle means it's too low and it should have been a lot bigger. Inside, we hate all this furniture clutter in the foyer. There are probably a thousand couches in this home and I don't need a bunch of them in here. I need you to come home clutter-free and stress-free. Your home is your sanctuary. While we're at it, get rid of these two trees. In the living room, we hate these chandeliers. You know in elementary school when you'd fold a piece of paper a bunch of times and then cut the folds and then open it up? That's what they remind me of, and I'm not into it. 
In this living room, we hate that the drapes look like a new COVID variant. In the dining room, we hate that they put the wallpaper on the ceiling. Is this legal? It's called wallpaper, not ceiling paper. The creator of wallpaper, Stephen S. Wallpaper, is probably rolling over in his grave right now. In the library, we hate this clutter on the fireplace mantle. When you've reached this level of clutter, it means you've been in a home too long and it's time to move. We hate these lights in the kitchen. We hate clamshell door handles. We hate these chairs. And we hate this backsplash. This is the ugliest backsplash we've ever seen on the show. If I were to be cooking in front of this backsplash, I'd close my eyes so I don't have to see it. In the main bedroom, we hate that the wood floors are all shriveled up. Having shriveled up wood is always a bad sign, especially in the bedroom. We hate this TV in the main bathroom. Do we really need a TV in here? While we're hating on TVs, we hated this one in the kitchen. You don't need this many TVs around the home these days with iPads and iPhones. Just put them where you need them and nowhere else, unless it's a vacation home, and there you'll put TVs everywhere. In the main closet, we hate that these chandeliers look like wedding cakes. We hate this men's closet. It's giving Ralph Lauren vibes. In the backyard, we don't love this kind of pool. The goon style is more of a party style, and I prefer a more laid-back chill vibe style. We hate the fire pit. I'd be willing to bet that Mark has no idea where the switch is to even turn this thing on. We hate that the home is in a ravine between these two mountains. How high are these walls? Is this safe? Back to the golf course, we hate it. Having your own golf course just seems like too much work. You could just go to a golf course. They do a pretty good job being them. And what are these stairs? This is silly. You didn't have to camouflage these. Trust me, no one would have been mad if you were like, oh yeah, I have some stairs here. And finally, that since it's in a ravine, we hate that this person up here can basically see into the yard. You could have the biggest home in the world, but if someone is higher than you on the mountain and then can see into your home, they're better than you. And they'll always be better than you. This home ranks a coveted 5 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show. We're taking a deeper dive into the stats. I was super excited when this home came into the market. I've always wanted to review it, but there weren't a lot of pictures in the past, so I was happy to see more inside. Probably one of my most favorite homes ever. It's really well done. Feels very cozy, but it's very large. Gave it a five rating because like I said, love the inside, think it was very well done, and the exterior is super nice. Not to mention we need lots of land, six acres is great. Ideally, you have enough land that you can have a party and no one can hear you having a party and they could party here all day. Compared with the other sales, I bet this sells at least over 70 million, if not 80. A lot of people always comment about mansions having a lot of bathrooms and wonder why. And let me explain why. You've got a lot of random rooms in mansions, so you throw bathrooms near them. You also don't want to have long lines when you have a lot of people over, so more options the better. And if you break it down on a square foot basis, this is less than one bathroom per thousand square feet. And you'll see in like regular homes, they have way more bathrooms per square foot. What did you all think about this home and what did you rank it? Let me know in the comments as always. Super special thank you to our Patreon iced coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I can be a winner and get a $5 iced coffee every day, so thank you. And I got to shout out our Patreon Plus producers. That's Spencer, Melissa, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, Gretchen, Julie, Barkov, Ellen, Paul, Alyssa, Ann, Colin, Mike, Sarah, Ferry, Beth, Michelle, and Charles, Ben, and Emmy. Thank you so much. And here are all our Patreon producers. Give them all a round of applause. Thank you for your support. See you all next episode.